I think we'll start this out with an example. You the filter chain is you're going to have a pass. Oh, you're grabbed by the function. Oh, yeah, right. We might be wrong. We're funny, but not always a pass. talk about a few things that affect stimulus control because things do. Um, I don't know. I suppose the first thing that you need to remember, it's pretty obvious and sometimes I think our field, <laughs> I don't know, it, it's both a benefit and it's kind of a, an annoying thing, especially for people that aren't in our field, that we love to talk about all the obvious stuff and we need, we, we, we make it a point of um, turning the obvious stuff into a hard science. And, and that's important for science across the board. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm just saying, because this is one of those things that's so obvious. If you can't attend to something, folks, you can't develop stimulus, it can't develop stimulus control with you or over you, I should say. <sighs> Why, right? Because if you can't see green, like if you can't identify the color, if you don't see the stimulus in your, in your environment, um, then I can't teach you what it is, right? Um, if I tell you to, if, I, if I'm driving down the street and I'm like, wave at me, and, and you don't wave at me, it's maybe because you didn't attend to me. Maybe you didn't see me, right? Um, so pre-attending skills are the things that I'm thinking about here. If you, if you tell someone, or if you teach someone to attend, then you've taught a skill that allows them to then develop stimulus control or have stimulus control developed over other things, right, other behaviors. So the absolute key with any sort of stimulus control is attending, right? So it's a powerful skill to teach. Sometimes you have to teach it to adults. Sometimes you have to teach it to dogs sometimes even kids, but it's just a genuinely good tool to use. So the other thing that, uh, or a tool to use, all right, it's a requirement. It's not a tool to use. So pre-attending skills are required. Um, oh, I don't know. Wow! Blah, 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 blah. That stimulus was way more salient than what I was doing with my tie at the time. And you're going to rewind that to find out what I was doing with my tie, and you're going to find out it was nothing. So I'll just, you're going to, but now you're going to double check me because inner observer agreement, right? Um, so anyway, um, so a stimulus that is extremely salient will be the one that sticks out in the environment, right? So the blah, 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 that sort of thing is pretty um, salient. It's You're going to remember that. Hopefully it'll be one of those things that stuck out in this video. So salient stimuli are the ones that are... Um, I'm trying to think of a better way to describe this. So the stimulus that sticks out the most is the one that's the most salient. Right? So think of it that way. All right, so two more things. So those are the ones that you're going to readily develop stimulus control to in an environment. The subtle nuance differences take a while to develop. You always tend, we always tend to focus on the, um, the most salient stimuli first. So two more things, masking and overshadowing. Um, let's talk about overshadowing first because that has to do with the development of stimulus control and learning new relations about stimuli. So overshadowing is when we have one stimulus that basically blocks the acquisition of learning, or sorry, overshadows the acquisition of learning to another stimulus. Stimulus. Blocking is a whole different thing, and we can talk about that at a completely different time and a completely different set of videos because for whatever reason we don't really talk about it in here. So um, anyway, um, so uh, overshadowing, we have one stimulus that's going to overshadow another stimulus. So I could have this unbelievably bright light shining upon you, and then I could do a really soft sound, beep, and I'm supposed to get you to do something to the soft sound, beep, but you're not going to respond to the Beep. You're going to be responding to this unbelievably bright light that's just going to totally overwhelm you. So as a result, you probably won't learn about that beep, right? So um, that, that's the idea of overshadowing. Just one stimulus in the environment um, is it, more salient. It totally overwhelms the organism to, to learning something about another stimulus in that particular environment. Another one is masking, okay? Um, this has to do with skills that you've already learned, okay? So you already have stimulus control, but you may not be able to perform a particular task because of some other stimulus that is um, uh, in masking the ability of stimulus A, all right, um, to elicit the, or to evoke the response that we're, that we're after, not elicit, sorry. Whew, bad. I sometimes they get confused in my head, they all the damn E words, anyway. Um, it's because, oh, I wonder why. Maybe the video, or maybe the video camera is masking my ability to discriminate on elicit, evoke, and all that, um, and emit, right? Um, so, so that's an exa kind of a funny example where I just caught on to the fact I was making that mistake in, the, in this particular environment. Um, so maybe the stimuli around me, the lights, the camera, uh, the cameraman, and, the, and the, the studio that we're in, maybe all that is masking my ability to discriminate well on the E-words in behavior analysis. So um, another example of this is sometimes 
sometimes kids get overwhelmed with noises. Like my kiddo right now is in school and they're doing a lot of construction in the school and he's having a really hard time um, doing some of the work that he already knows how to do because of boom, 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 boom in the environment constantly all day long. Right. Um, I remember when I was learning to scuba dive this ages ago, we had a, uh, there was a pile driving going on. They were doing some work on a, on a bridge and a river. Bang, 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 bang. I couldn't, I, we were underwater trying to attend to specific things that we knew how to do, but I was getting distracted. I was like, what, what do I need to do? Because I kept focusing on bang, bang, bang in the water. And it was really overwhelming. So sometimes stimuli will mask the ability of another stimulus to elicit or to evoke a particular response with, from stimulus control, obviously. So I think that's uh, probably good enough for now. And I'll talk to you later another time. See you. Or I won't because I'm not salient enough. <laughs> or you won't. I think you get it. I can't thank you enough for making it to the end of a video. <laughs> no one watches to the end except you. And for that, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, share, even donate maybe. Anything. Just watch more videos.